Now back to the sizzling heat. The record temperatures that are suffocating us here in South Florida are now also affecting sea life. The water temperatures are so high in the Florida Keys that they are endangering our precious coral reef. Local 10's Janine Stanwood reports from Marathon. Low wind, full sun, it has been a scorcher here in the Florida Keys. But scientists and meteorologists are also focusing on this, the extremely hot water. And now they're sounding the alarm. Those of us who know are terrified. Beneath the surface of turquoise water in the Florida Keys is a barrier reef, an ecosystem that scientists say is suffering. At one point this month, the surface water temperature in the Middle Keys ticked up at 90 degrees. Even when we're out working on the reefs, we're collecting temperature data and we're seeing temperatures even 60 feet down are in the high 80s, which is getting really close to the point where corals begin to experience damage from that heat. The Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary calls this an alert one for coral bleaching. It doesn't sound that dire until you learn the highest alert is a two. This is a map that shows where it's happening and how it's predicted to get worse in the coming weeks. You can see the difference between healthy coral, coral that's experiencing bleaching, and coral that has died. If we lose our coral, we're going to lose our fish. We're going to lose livelihoods for everybody else. We're going to lose our jobs because there will be nobody wanting to see the reefs. Captain Hooks and Marathon is one of so many businesses in the Keys that relies on the health of the reef. They're noticing a difference. You can see that a lot of the marine life is sort of left for deeper waters. I mean, you, you can tell that it's really taking its toll down here. If the temperatures continue to stay this high or get higher, we will see more paling, more bleaching, and unfortunately, eventual coral death. If the ocean dies, kiss the planet goodbye. There are lots of nonprofits in the Florida Keys that do coral restoration, but scientists say that's really just a stopgap measure. They're actually worried about the fact that it's only July. The most of the coral stress that they see happens later in the summer when it's even hotter in August and September. We're in Marathon. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.